Hi, it's John Krasinski, Pittsburgh Soccer Now. I'm with Russell Cicerone. Russell, um, first of all, you're off to a really good start in terms of at least putting uh, putting balls in the goal right now uh, with uh, with the Riverhounds. But um, just first of all, just kind of your experience so far in Pittsburgh. What's it What's it been like for you? Yeah, it's it's been a very professional environment. A lot of good guys, a lot of experienced guys, a few young guys. But uh, we've really come together as a group over preseason and these uh, these first few games. And uh, it's just uh, th there's a gate, there's a great chemistry here, a great uh, environment to to be, get better every day and to be one of the top teams in the, in the USL. Yeah, you talk about um, a great group of guys and chemistry, and you, you guys have already faced your share of adversity. I mean, this kind of the ups and downs and struggling those two games at home and, and losing to Tampa in the first game. But you know, what what. What gets what gets you through those those moments? You know, what what got you? you you've been around a bit. A yeah. So else. so yeah, like you said, experience always helps. But uh, uh, I think the coaching staff does a great job of if something if we need to fix something, we work on it that week in training, and then we always seem to improve on it the when when the time when the time comes on the weekend. So I think I I I, th I think just the mentality of the group to 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 get better and uh, go out there and compete every weekend. Yeah, and you know, for you personally, when you came, when you signed with the Hounds, and and obviously Bob, I'm sure was engaged in talking to you. Um, he taught. Was there ta even from the beginning about um, you know his approach to it, his attacking style, maybe trying to do some things differently? Or was any of that in yeah, part of the yeah, discussion? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, my past experiences, I've, I've been mostly playing as a winger at past clubs and. And Bob likes to switch formation up, do different things. So he's mm -hmm. asking a lot more of me, whether it's to go through the middle or play in the center of midfield, or sometimes even play as a winger. But just the being able to do different things with my runs, finding different pockets of space, and finding different ways to be dangerous. Yeah, and um, what do you, you know, what do you, what do you think is unique about yourself in terms of uh, the, the things that you bring to the table as a player? What are your attributes? Yeah, I think I read the game pretty well so I can find the, the weak spots of the defense, whether they're dropping and get the ball in front of them or if they're going to step up and make the runs in behind. So being able to be a little bit dangerous in, in both those types of ways, I think, is one of my uh, good attributes. Yeah, and then obviously you're you're off to a good start in terms of goal scoring here. Um, you know, it's... It, do you feel comfortable? Is this is kind of like that tactical flexibility that changes every week with Bob? I mean, is that something that you, you feel like you, you're adapting well to? And yeah, I mean, uh, I'm very comfortable because every before we play every game, we're we're completely very well prepared on what we need to do, what everybody's jobs is. So nobody's going into the weekend clueless or anything like that because we switched formation or anything like that. So I mean. Every every game, I know what I'm. I know what my job is. The guys know what their job is, and it's just about going out there and executing. Yeah, and speaking of which, you know, you you play a lot alongside. You know, you got Albert, uh, uh, um, obviously Alex, and you know those guys up top. But then also the midfield. You know, just maybe talk about you know what they bring to the table and um, you know how this how this group is working as a unit. Yeah, I mean. Uh, like you said, I've been scoring a decent amount of goals, but it's not—it's not individual stuff. It's—it's it's all about the movement of the group. If mm -hmm. if Deco's movement takes him here, or if uh, Danny Rivera is playing outside back and his movement takes it, that, that's that allows me to free up space. So it's just about moving for each other. Sometimes you have to make a run where you don't get the ball, and it, it frees up for somebody else. And so I mean, we have such a talented group. Everybody everybody knows the movement, knows what passes to play, and uh, and we're finding ways to score a couple goals. Yeah, and just you know, learning a little bit about you even before you came here, but uh, even now, um, learning you know you you played in Buffalo, you played at Buffalo, mm -hmm. played for um, in the NPSL and uh, FC Buffalo. Mm -hmm. um, did you always feel like you had to work extra harder? Because you know, you, you, it's not like you were played for an ACC program or mm -hmm. you know you were like highly recruited that kind of thing. But I mean, just and, and you come from Detroit, so you know a lot of people talk about Pittsburgh being blue collar town, but yeah, yeah definitely. No, Detroit. yeah, there's a lot of similarities, which is uh, part of the reason I like it. But uh, yeah, I mean, nothing's ever really come that easy mm -hmm. for me. I, I, I went to Buffalo as a Mac school, but uh, uh, sure. I, um, and then I, I had that one season with FC Buffalo, which which I had a tremendous experience there, and I played really well. And so yeah, I mean yeah, I've always had to fight for everything that I've gotten, but. Uh, uh, I think it's beneficial in a way. It, it, it's made me the player I am now. So. Yeah, and to talk about that when you were in college. You know, having an opportunity to play with an FC Buffalo. What was that experience like? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I had I had a good freshman season for Buffalo, and 
uh, my name was being tossed around town, so I so FC Buffalo brought me in, and I had a great season. I set the single season goal record there, and uh, I was named to the first team all nation team, which which was a really great experience. And I mean, uh, it, it was awesome playing for FC Buffalo. They got a ton of fans. The, the owners made it such a great environment for us. It was it was a great experience. Yeah, and um, I'm, it's one of those cities where I'm kind of surprised. I know USL has been talking about potentially bringing a team there, but you know that would be kind of cool. Yeah, have. I mean, from my experience, the people of the city of Buffalo love soccer, so yeah, um, yeah I would love to see a team come there. So anything else from that experience that uh, maybe you know that was unique? Um, obviously, you know, you're not. You said you you did have fan support, but you know, anything else that you know maybe people wouldn't know, uh, would, would be surprised to know about a, a NPSL program? I mean, just, it, it was, the the environment that they put us in, it was high level of training. I felt like mm -hmm. I, I definitely got better and it, it prepared me for the, the next college season, which uh, I, I went on to have a great sophomore season as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it's a very high level environment. If you want to, if you're, if you're talking about high level players, that mm -hmm. that's definitely a place where I would recommend them going. And in terms of preparing you to become a professional. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Well, you know, like looking forward to the rest of the season, um, kind of what are your thoughts in terms of now you got to play all these other teams. You've been in the USL a few years now. I mean, playing teams four times in a season that are in your, your division, and now you're going to see the Red Bulls and Loudon and all these guys again. I mean, what's the approach now in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's a little different to play them four times, but you're always used to at least a home and away. And, uh, uh, I mean, Everybody learns about each other a little bit, but, it, but it's just about who's who's going to go out there and compete and execute the game plan a little bit better and who wants it a little bit more on that night. So, I mean, I, I think, that, like I said, the mentality of the group is really strong. So we're going to keep pushing, try to get uh, three points every game and uh, uh, continue to be one of the best teams in the, in, in the USL. Yeah, you want to reach for the, you want to get past Tampa soon, exactly. right? Exactly. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Russell. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Thanks.